is happening? How are you? How are you? How are you? About last night, your boy DMAC, and uh, I am live and alive. And after doing this show about last night, yesterday morning, man, I shut it down. And I did not go to the Avs game last night uh, or two nights ago. I did not go to the Nuggets game last night. I hate missing games. Hate it. I very rarely do it. I've been to the vast majority of uh, Avs and Nuggets games for the past three years. So it pains me not to be there. But um, I do feel better. You know, obviously, I don't sound 100%, but I do feel better. And I thank you for your well wishes right off the bat. And I'm ready to go. Ready to strap it up for a full day. And we've got a full day. We've got this show, which is awesome. And we have uh, Nate and Chad, hopefully, uh, at at um, 9 a.m. I'm on with Tyler and Scott, 12 to 3. Then we'll do Hangout Live from Avid Caddy, 4.30 And then at a huge um abs game against the rangers and that is tonight so a big full day and i'm glad you're along for the ride so let's get to about last night now the nuggets did lose but that wasn't the big story the big well i mean it's a big story but um for the first time michael porter jr spoke about the issues going on with his brother so i know this is uh Weird way to do it, but um, let me give you some comments from Mike Porter Jr. Um, not necessarily anything I want to say, no. I mean, I know what you guys know. I know John Ted loves the game of basketball. Um, you know, he's really excited to play. He's been really excited to play with the Raptors. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I know just as much as you guys know at this point, you know, um, I know that I've known my brother my whole life. Um I know what type of duty he is, and I know he's excited to play basketball, and I highly doubt he would do anything to put that in jeopardy. Is it hard, Michael, to avoid you know, just the omnipresence of gambling everywhere between timeouts? It's on every it's scoreboards. There's sporting books in actual arenas. Is it hard for you as players to avoid it? Do you hear it from fans? Do you... <laughs> uh, yeah, especially the last few years, you hear more You know, people in the crowd saying, what they need you to score tonight or, you know, what they don't want you to score. Um, every night you're disappointing someone. You're disappointing the people if you score too much because they may have bet on your under and you're disappointing people if you didn't score enough. So um, it's part of it's part of the game now. Um, I think that it's obviously a dangerous habit. It's a dangerous vice for people. I think, you know, the love of money is the root of all evil. So I think that even though it is a thing, um, we as players just have to accept that. I don't think we should, um, we get, we get, you know, paid a lot of money to play this game. And I know that people, these fans, they want to make some money as well. So if they want to put their hard earnings on us, you know, we appreciate that you put your trust in us, I guess. But um, it's definitely something that is kind of taking over the sports world. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. So, I mean, that's that's probably my comments on it. Okay. Well, I mean, that's well said. Um, listen, it's it's that's a that's a complicated thing for a player to talk about. It's that every team, including um, the Broncos, Nuggets, Avalanche, everybody has partnerships with sports books. Everybody does. Um, I represented a sports book, and now I don't because they got rid of me. Uh, which is true. And, you know, a- anything done responsibly is is likely fine. Um, you can't do it as a player on stuff impacting yourself. You just got to, you got to know that. You can't do it. But when Michael Porter's, you know, says that, Hey, I'm a little conflicted. Like, hey, is it a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I, that's a good good point. I don't know. I I think like a lot of things 
if 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 done responsibly, it's fine in that adults get to make their minds up about how they're they do things. And he points out, well, listen, you know, we make a lot of money to do this stuff. If fans want to make money off that too, well, okay. I mean, that's pretty well said. But you got to know where the line is if you're a player and you can't be involved with it. So tough thing for Michael Porter. And I'm, I'm, A, he's defending his brother, right? Good for him. What else are you supposed to do? Oh, yeah, my brother, I told him not to do that and blah, blah, blah. No, he's defending him. I think he probably does know more than you and I know. But again, what is he supposed to do? I thought he handled that situation very well. Vinny from the Gazette asked a very, you know, um, kind of, hey, man, if, if you want to say something, fine. If not, you know, whatever. And then Troy followed up with a reasonable um, response there about the way it is just period. So I, I, I think everything was very handled very well there at the end. But um, tough deal for Michael Porter Jr. to deal with for sure. It's family, man. You don't want to see your family in trouble. You hurt when they hurt, for sure. <coughs> ah, excuse me. In terms of the uh, standings, you know, that loss last night to the Suns, it was it was mitigated to a degree because Oklahoma City also lost. So scores from the NBA last night. It does set up a monster game tomorrow night. Scores from the NBA. Hornets beat the Cavs 118-111. Warriors over the Magic 101-103, which was a crazy game as Draymond Green got thrown out and there was all sorts of Draymondness going on. Nets over the Wizards 122-119. Hawks beat the Trailblazers 120-106. Clippers beat the 76ers 108-107. That was a crazy game too where the referees admitted they blew a foul at the end of the game. That would have helped the Sixers. Uh, Knicks rolled over the Raptors 145-101. Bulls beat the Pacers 125-99. Lakers beat the Grizzlies 136-124. Timberwolves won 106-91 against the Pistons. And again, monster game tomorrow night. Monster. At home against the Timberwolves. And I'm... Guessing Jamal's going to be okay by tomorrow night. Spurs beat the Jazz 118-111. And the Suns beat the um, the Nuggets 104-97. Yeah, the Rockets being the Thunder. <coughs> it was a chance for um, the Nuggets to pull a little further ahead in the standings. But... They don't. Uh, Jokic last night with a Sombord double with um, 22, nine rebounds, 10 assists, so a little short on that. And the Nuggets just didn't shoot great from three, 25%, 10 of 40. And the, the you know, the Sun shot great from three, 16 to 33, 48.5%. And that's the difference in the game. Just an off shooting night for Denver and the the quarter. I mean, it was pretty even throughout. Tied after one, down by seven, down by 10 after three, and then they lose by seven. You know, so it wasn't any kind of blowout. The Nuggets couldn't hit their threes. Pretty simple. So we'll see with, um, what was the bench? Yeah, the bench was rough, man. Christian Brown, terrible night for Christian. Wow. Minus 19, plus minus um, 15 minutes. Three rebounds, no buckets. <coughs> Missed an easy layup under the basket at one point. Pass from Jokic. Bad night for CB. Not a great night for Peyton Watson either. Only five points, minus 16. In 19 minutes. So CB and um, good night for Colin Gillespie. Only two of seven, but still got a couple of buckets, eight points, hit a couple three-pointers, plus six. Not bad. 
Not bad. Reggie Jackson had a weak game, five of 14, one of seven from three. Just not great for three. Missed Jamal Murray. This is a game where you can see where they missed Jamal Murray. So in standings, <coughs> excuse me, I'll get through it. I promise I'll get through it. I do feel better. Uh, they're a half game in front of the Timberwolves and Oklahoma City. They're still in first place, so it's not the end of the world. It'll be a forgettable game. Um, and this game coming up against the Timberwolves is a big deal on Friday night. Okay. 29 and 7 at home, 8 and 2 in their last 10. Nobody is freaking out. It was an off shooting night. No Jamal Murray is going to have an impact at some point. And last night it did. Uh, we do have some interesting news about last night from the world of baseball. Yes, baseball. Can you believe it? Uh, you can see now the Rockies basically everywhere except for direct TV, but you can see them on Comcast. You can see them on Fubo. You can stream the games every game you want. Uh, so isn't that interesting? So that, that was announced earlier. Well, like, I mean, last night, today, tonight, I don't, I don't know. Today, you can watch the Rockies basically, except for direct TV, you can see him anywhere. And tonight they open things up their first game of the season at Arizona at a smooth 8, 10 PM. So we definitely will be doing Rockies coverage. No doubt about it. Uh, Kyle Freeland against Zach Gallen tonight. And that game can more or less be seen um, wherever you were watching TV last year. That came out of left field, huh? I didn't expect that. I thought we were going to have to, you know, well, I already have service, multiple services that they're on. So I'm glad I didn't pay for the extra stuff. So I'm good. I Well, Fubo. I can see the game on Fubo. That's That's amazing. That's good. Good for me. So... Don't know why it came together so late, but it did. And um, gosh, well, we'll see how I feel. You know, I'll be at the um, Avs game tonight, but we're definitely going to start like bottom of the eighth where we cover Rockies and react to Rockies games. Um, that might come on a, and it, it'll be theoretically <coughs> mostly for road games, but I might do home games because I don't know how many home games I'm going to get to. So we'll see on that. We'll take we'll play that by ear. But that that is the big news that you can see them, you know, basically everywhere. That's new. So congratulations to the Rockies. And about last night in the NHL, the scoreboard only a couple of games. Sens beat the Sabers six to two. The Lightning beat the Bruins three to one. And in terms of where that puts, I mean, it doesn't have any impact on. The um, the Avalanche, they play the Rangers, one of the top teams in the East. In fact, the Rangers at 100 points are the leading scoring team in the NHL. The Avs have 70, uh, 97 points. They're two points behind Dallas, but they have a game in hand. So they can tie Dallas tonight for the Central, and they would... Pass Vancouver if Vancouver um, loses because there's loads of games tonight. Um, and let me just see real quick who Vancouver's playing tonight. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, Vancouver, Vancouver, who are you playing tonight? They're hosting Dallas. Oh, wow. Big game. Okay. Damn. Oh, wow. So we want, I think we want to tie there. Now nah, we want Dallas to lose. We want to win the Central. Okay. <coughs> well, that is a big matchup for sure. So, um, so okay. So we know now, now oh, they're doing some highlights of the Nuggets and the uh, Suns real quick. Let me. Thirty points for Durant. 
Huge win by the Suns. All right. Helps Phoenix more than it hurts the Nuggets because the Thunder lost. And the Nuggets do have control of things in their own hands with an easy schedule. And they'll they'll be better shooting-wise than they were last night. So I'm not worried about it at all. About last night in terms of action, Jaden Daniels Pro Day at LSU. I mean, my God, who wasn't there? Jane Daniels did throw. He didn't throw at the combine. He let it rip at his pro day. Looked fine, as most guys do in the pro pro day. He's projected to go number two in Mel Kuyper's mock draft to the commanders, but anything and everything could be in play. So big day for Jaden Daniels. We'll talk about that more with um, Chocolate Payne with Nate and Chad coming up at 9 a.m. All righty. DMAC Smack, let's talk to you about what's going on in your mind. What you've got to say about things last night. Hope you feel better, DMAC. Thank you, Steven. Congratulations on winning Employee of the Month. Oh, man. MGM has you uh, minus 150 for winning Employee of the Year. Well, you know what? I'd, I'd be in the running. Sound much better today. I'm hanging in there, Brent. Doing the best that I can. <coughs> <laughs> just you got make me cough just by saying I feel better. Hope DMAC feels better today. It's now obvious DMAC must show up at Ball Arena or the Abs and Nuggets lose. That is true. Two games that I have missed, they both lose. I don't know what that says. Abs and Nuggets obviously need you for motivation. I hope they miss me. I, I hope they miss me. So it's your fault we lost. Feel better. Back to 100% quickly. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, you can't avoid the obvious. I wasn't there. They lost both teams. I think the phone way is the best way of playing those interviews. Ah! You got to do what you got to do, Stephen. You got to do what you got to do. Good morning, DMAC. Hope you feel better. Go Timberwolves. What would it be without a morning of disparagement for Michael? Appreciate it. Good morning, DMAC. Roxanne, good to see you. Lakers in five in a row, but who's checking? All right. Ed Prather, 2024. Yes, thank you to Ed Prather Real Estate, the number one trusted team in real estate in Colorado. Check them out at edprather.com. Ed is my man. We are closing on the sale of my home on Monday. Woo! I mean, you got to get, and we got a, we got one um, wild hurdle to cross, and that has to do with like a roof and checks, and but that is supposed to get done on Saturday, so that's supposed to be done on Saturday, um, closing on Monday, and then there's post occupy. There's all sorts of stuff going on, but I could not do it with Ed Prather and his team. EdPrather.com. Thank you, Ed Prather. Uh, DMAC, is marijuana a part of your life? It is not. It, well, it is a part. I mean, the way you spelled it. No weed for the D-man. I thought you meant the other brother. Jeez, Mike has, has Mike ever commented? Um, about, yeah, I don't know about that. It's a horrible situation. Uh, Mike's had a lot going on, man. That is true. I hope you get well soon. I agree with you. I hope I get well soon, too. But I do love being on. Um, so, again, I'm going to cut this one a little short. Be back at 9 a.m. with Nate and Chad. Hopefully everybody feels better there. But I do appreciate It's important for me just to stay in contact with you all so you know what's going on. To thank Ed Prather, real estate. To let you know, I will be out at Avid Caddy today at 4.30, hanging out. And would love to see you there. Would love to have somebody drop by uh, 9556 Park Meadows Drive just to check it out. And don't forget, when I'm there, free golf for you. And we're having a watch long, which everybody's invited to, on um, uh, April 8th for the National Championship game. All right? Appreciate it. Love you. 
Thank you for being here. Um, we have a big Rangers game tonight and then Minnesota tomorrow. Um, more on Jaden Daniels Pro Day, NFL and Broncos news coming up at 9 a.m. with Nate and Chad. Talk to you later.